The right of publicity protects an individual's right to make economic use of his identity, including his name and likeness. But if the individual passes away, should this protection be preserved? That's the question taken up in Martin Luther King Jr. Center for Social Change versus American Heritage Products. Martin Luther King Jr. was a Baptist minister and preeminent leader in the civil rights movement. King was assassinated in 1968, but his fame didn't diminish. In the early 80s, James Bolin sought to capitalize on King's fame. Bolin created a plastic bust using his likeness. Bolin sought the endorsement of the nonprofit promoting King's ideals, the Martin Luther King Jr. Center for Social Change, but the center refused Bolin's request. Despite the center's refusal, Bolin's business American Heritage Products began selling the bust. Advertisements marketed the bust as a funeral accessory, picturing it alongside excerpts from King's copyrighted speeches. The ads also declared that each purchase would support a financial contribution to the center. The center, along with King's wife and the assignee of the copyrights to several of King's speeches, sued American Heritage in federal district court. The plaintiffs sought an injunction preventing American Heritage from using King's speeches and the center's name in its advertising and preventing it from selling the busts. The district court granted the injunction in part. Based on copyright and other theories, the court enjoined American Heritage's use of King's speeches and the center's name. But the court refused to enjoin American Heritage from selling the busts because it concluded that a right of publicity hadn't passed to King's heirs. The plaintiffs appealed to the 11th Circuit. Because the plaintiff's appeal involved novel questions of Georgia law, the 11th Circuit certified questions to the Georgia Supreme Court. 